many gathered in solidarity and in the rain, praying for peace and hoping for a fast resolution for all the victims. Together, we will bring all the needed light to the world to be able to dispel and eliminate this darkness once and for all. With umbrellas and flags of Israel in hand, many gathered at Chabad House in Granite Bay. We are here to support the country of Israel and to show solidarity. We're here to pray uh, for our soldiers. We are here to pray for our victims. And we are here to pray for the release of all the kidnapped women, children, and elderly people. A surprise attack by Hamas on Israel began early Saturday, killing several hundred people, including civilians young and old. At least a hundred more were kidnapped by Hamas terrorists in Israel and taken into Gaza. Many in the local Jewish community say they have direct connections to those in their homeland, whether it's someone who was shot, called into the military service, or someone who was killed, such as relatives of Lamour Bittman. They came into their house, broke the door, and killed the parents and two girls. It's, it's just unimaginable. Many locals say they've had sleepless nights since the brutal attack and spend much of their waking hours doing marathon TV watching. And all we can do is just stand here and show our support and hope that the people of the world and the people in America will understand what we are going through, what the people of Israel is going through. A inspirational, uplifting message from the Torah. And aside from prayer, attendees also raise funds for the Israel Defense Forces. We are all in this fight together. This is a fight against terror, against darkness, against evil, and that evil has to be eliminated. And the only way we can do that is with optimism, with confidence, with faith, and with strength. And here at the state capitol, also showing solidarity with the colors of the flag of Israel. Now, some of the attendees said that this is the first of many community prayers that are planned. Reporting from outside the capitol, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.